going on, everybody? Ryan and Entertainment back to talk about the huge trade that went down this morning. When you wake up to a notification that Carmelo Anthony has been traded to the OKC Thunder, that is an insane day to start. That is an insane way to start your day. Couldn't even speak it. But, um, yeah, man, um, I couldn't make a video. It's, uh, I got the notification at, like, noon. It's, like, midnight. <laughs> Um, I was at work, but <laughs> I'm here to talk about it now. Jesus, when I say that, I don't even know. The NBA is completely reshaped after one off season. It is absolutely insane. If this is not the best or most crazy off season, whatever you want to call it, then I, I don't, I don't even know what is. You got Kyrie, Chris Paul, freaking Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, Jimmy Butler. So, so many more like that that's just a couple, that's just a little sample of everything that's went down and man oh man what a way to cap it off i mean who knows maybe it's not even over yet i assumed it was over after kyrie but still going um after all the rockets really lost out huge here because they were the biggest contenders 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 for so long to get mellow that was where everybody thought he was going to wind up and now he's with the Thunder with Russell Westbrook and Paul George. And all of a sudden, at least on paper, the Thunder look like the second best team in the West. Like, just like that. Um, you have probably the best, they have definitely the best point guard in the league, in my opinion at least, Russell Westbrook. Um, they have a top five, They have and they have two top five small forwards, or five and six somewhere in there i don't have my rankings for the small forwards right now top six they have two top six small forwards i don't know i think they probably will have paul george play shooting guard or they'll have carmelo play power forward either way that's gonna be pretty insane um because now if you even look at their bench this upgrades their bench if they have all three of these guys on the court together when the game starts they can rotate them out so one of them is always on the court. And then they have a decent bench now, especially when you consider guys like Steven Adams are still around. They also have Andre Roberson. They signed Patrick Peterson. Is that... Is that I hope I didn't mess up his name. I don't know. There's football, and I know... Yeah, I might have messed that... Oh, what? I don't know. I'm just going to hope that I didn't mess it up. I think I did, though. Patrick Patterson! God damn it! Ugh! Um... They signed somebody else, I feel, but I'm forgetting right now. But yeah, and all they had to give up to get Carmelo was Doug McDermott and his cancer and his second round pick. And I remember I we when the news came out, I think it was like, yeah, I think it was either Friday or Thursday when the news came out that Carmelo had added the Cavs and the Thunder to it. And I was like, and I, the first thing I thought to myself was, okay, well the Thunder would have to trade them and his canter and probably somebody else and I just couldn't think of who else they would trade but obviously they worked it out and his cancer gone funnily enough after just defending Oklahoma City after Kevin Durant kind of put them under some fire Sam Presti man what an off season you flip basically remember what they got remember what they had to give up to get Doug McDermott in the first place they gave up um, Cameron Payne and somebody else, I can't even remember who, and got back Taj Gibson, who played really well for the Thunder for the second half of the season, and Doug McDermott, who turned into a trade piece for freaking Carmelo Anthony. Other than that, they gave up a second round pick and Ennis Cancer. A back, their backup center. They gave up their backup center, their backup small forward, and a second round pick to get a top 20-25 player in the league. Insane. Um, so, in my, so now they have a top 3 player, a top 10 player, and a top 25 player. I'm not sure where in any of those you would rank any of them, but that's just where I put them all. But, like, it's, it's, I mean, it's crazy. Where do you even go from here for Oklahoma City? I mean, you bet, you, they better be in the Western Conference Finals. Anything short of that, and this is a fail. Especially if they don't make it there and then Paul George leaves. But, um, Russell Westbrook, 
he's got a team around him once again, and this this time he is the centerpiece. He is not playing Robin to Kevin Durant's Batman. He is Batman, and he's got the goddamn Justice League. But they gotta go up against the Avengers if they do make it to the Western Conference Finals. So we'll see how that all turns out. But as for right now, the Thunder are sitting a pretty. Knocking on the door for the crown in the Western Conference. So that is going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Those were my thoughts on the Carmelo Anthony trade. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.